All right, guys. Um, so again, continuing on with our attacks, our submissions, and just our, our basics from here. The key thing is that any time that you can secure a lapel, it'll make things a lot easier. And if, guys, if you can't see, please shift. Um, so inside my guard here, so feet, knees, whatever, it really shouldn't matter all that much. Just any time someone's on their feet, it just means they're that much stronger, much uh, better positioning for them easier for me to attack if he's on his knees here, okay? One leg up, one leg down, again, doesn't matter. So, we get into our lasso. Kick and pull, rotate, hook behind the shoulder line, dominate this arm. Again, I use that analogy of a knot. I've tied him up in a knot, but a knot could be loose or it can be snapped tight. Snap everything tight and keep it tight. So from here, as soon as I'm, I have my lasso set, I know I want to attack a submission, I'm going to look to grab a cross collar. Okay, so posture control, so I can pull him down into the position, and also just to give me a little bit more general control here. So the first option we're gonna go for is our triangle. I'm going to release this sleeve to catch his elbow, and I'm going to step and point my toes to be able to allow my foot to slide off. Make sure that your baby toe isn't caught inside the gi, or in the sleeve there, that it's a big owie there. So as I release here, I'm going to kick up. I launch my hips as I pull his arm over the top of my knee. So both of my legs straighten at the same time. Kick up and release. You also end up showing some nice leg, usually at the same time. Now as I catch him from here, hips up, cross the arm, grab your shin, foot on the hip, pivot and bite, lock everything up, knees tight, elevate and pull down on the back of the head. So again from here, Spider guard, drop, kick, and pull, find your lasso. Sleeve on the spider side, grabs cross grip. And then from here, I release to catch his elbow. But honestly, even if I miss his hand in this moment, he's still in a really compromised position. All I have to do is kick my legs up and pull down. But the more security, the more I manipulate him, the better off I'm going to be. Lasso, lapel, elbow, kick up and just drive your hips. No angling off, just be aggressive with it. Typical finish. From there, we're good. Now, you notice the position he lands in is going to be very close to an omoplata. Don't worry about that for now. We're going to adjust our triangle to be working on our opposite side. So when someone is hiding their arm, he's really not allowing me to cross it over. There's a few things I can do here. But what we're going to focus on is trying to reverse our triangles. So normally the arm that's stuck inside the guard, that's the side my lock goes to, right? Like so. But what we're going to do instead is lock on this side, okay? It's far easier when that shoulder's in the way because it allows my hip to rotate. Now once I get that, I'm going to elevate my hip. He thinks he's safe. I'm going to take the blade of my hand and put it right against the uh, artery. So not his throat. I'm not strangling the guy, although that would be fun. Think karate chop into the neck. Other hand bolsters against it. Now I'm going to drop my hips, pushing into the artery and pinching my knees together. And then from here, it's a bit of a slower choke, but just wait. And as you can see, eventually he's gonna to have to tap, okay? So I have used this in competition before. Guys get good at hiding their arm. Cross grip, kick up, do your typical one. And then on the next one, oops, sorry, we're not gonna do that. Again, I'm going to lock him out. So to make sure that I can get this, he may be hiding his arm, pull down on the head, reach up, lock this in, make things actually tight. Hips up, find the artery, bolster against it, and then now just drop your hips, pinching your knees like always, pinching together, but I'm really just trying to push into that artery here and just wait, okay? This shouldn't, again, be an air choke at all. Make sure you're pushing here. Okay, you got it guys? So slight variation to your triangle, another option. Nothing has to be, one, two, let's go. Oh, I'm facing at me. Uh, here, share it. All right, so a lot of you, you didn't fully lock, okay? Now, the more you fight for this, obviously if you're compressing your knees, like you want to crush the guy's shoulder, okay? So again, we're here, lasso, deep grip, guys. Like, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to reach behind his neck. Pull him in and reach up, okay? Deep grip. 
grab this first before you kick up. And then again, I'm just blasting my legs through, right? Now, from here again, if he's hiding his arm, when I'm adjusting into the position, I'm trying to basically get his shoulder crunched in, okay? So don't just go like this and have everything loose. Everything the same like the typical triangle, like get deep, collapse it, crush his head into his shoulder. Give yourself as much room as you can to lock this up. But if, even if you can't, you end up here, it's fine. The hand does the majority of the work. I just need to make sure that this artery gets closed somewhat. So as long as I'm pinching my knees together, I should get them. Okay. Now hips up so that first of all, lifts his chin and I can see if I'm down here, like I can't get under his jaw, especially if he's hiding from me. Hips up, find it. Okay. Again, strong wrist. Think about your arm being fully extended and block it. So this way, as I drop my hips in, it does most of the work. And I can just think about pulling him down by pinching my knees. You can see here, nice bald guy here for the tap. Okay. Now, if your partner is being stubborn, but you believe in this technique, and again, I did that with the kind of not really locked up, make a fist. You fist them, okay? And go from here. This is a little bit of a pressure point too. Just make sure that you're not here, okay? If he starts coughing, you can get disqualified, okay? So hint, hint. Very few people know this though, or will do it, All right? So crunch the shoulder line, pull the head over, not just down, and really force that foot in. And then again, everything extended to get under the chaw, the chaw, the jaw line, and collapse him into the position as you pinch, okay? And if you wanna be mean to your partner, make it a fist, knuckles right into the artery. And this here too, I don't know if you've ever had your neck worked on, like even just as a nice pleasant massage, it's sensitive. So if you start to roll those knuckles in at the same time, okay, pressure points don't work, but they do. Okay, one, two, clean it up. Hmm. You know what I do? Uh, I'm not sure if I, I got this on video for the old Lana, but we'll do it quickly here. Uh, here, Jacob, Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> he realizes a little like the last time. Okay, so again, Everything the same, get your grip. So this time, it's this is going to be a lot smoother, okay? Because I'm kind of jammed up on this side for the triangle, but it's there. So when I get my grip here, I switch to the elbow. Again, I can go inside, I can go outside. I could do it right off of this. I'm just gonna have to bail the last second on my grip, but it's not that efficient. So you go here, grab on the outside. So as I kick up, this foot, instead of having to fling upwards, I use it as a step, just like the standard omoplata from uh, Spider. So I elevate and I trap, okay? Now the same mentality of this like extending up through the armpit, think about this hand as you go through to find his hip and block him on that immediate step over. And also on the, sorry, let me just hide myself. On the roll. So I get to here, I kick up, I elevate through and I want to find his hip here quickly. Okay. Now, as we get through, I want you guys to do one hip escape and then sit up and find his butt. Okay. So you notice again, I'm facing him heavily and I'm looking for his feet. Don't kick straight up and then get into this battle again. Right. I showed you a lot of options last week, but go straight to the good one. Dump the guy and finish. Okay. Lock him, and then as you continue your hip out, boom, wrap the other arm. This will stop him from rolling too. You're actually in a position to block that knee, dump him down. You notice no triangle, no lock. If he gets wily, if he starts moving around a lot, yeah, lock up. Well, no, no, thanks. Okay, lock up. But if you don't have to, and you can just keep this tight, heel digging, use this leg for mobility and leverage, do it. Okay, and then from here, I slowly lean forward and tell the Okay, sorry, I had to make it weird once in a while. All right, guys, one, two. Only once in a while. <laughs> Always. Okay, we could have we could have did this, uh, Jared. Let me use you quick. We could have did this. Um, this is going to be the smoothest thing, but I mentioned this as part of the spider omoplata. 
um, not to hug the leg like this, right? Because you put yourself into your own, or into his omoplata, okay? But we can scoop the leg and encourage a step over, but I don't want him to be successful. So we do everything here, boom, like so. But let's just say I feel him, you know, trying to keep his hip elevated, so I'm stopping him. I didn't get to the chance. He's putting his weight onto me, so it doesn't feel like I can about face and sort of tap the way I want to. I also feel like I'm not going to be able to sit up. So I'm just kind of holding on, triangle, keep hip escaping out, keep trying to face him. But he keeps his butt elevated up because he's either going to front roll or he's going to try and step over me. So again, if I do this and then he grabs my sleeve, front hand, the same, basically counter me. Yeah, and then now it just front rolls, right? Boom. Let's see, I'm in the omoplata now, right? Come back, sorry about your neck there. So instead, when you feel that energy, I'm gonna use it. He's putting his weight into me here. I'm gonna scoop like this. So this could backfire big time. If he completes a step over and rotates, like if he tick tocks so, oh no, he swept himself there. That'd be great for me. Just step, stay, uh, stay flat plane, chest down, hips down, and just step over my head. Like this? Yes. Boom, and one more time. There we go, now I'm safe, and now he's on top, right? No one will block him. Okay, so I need to avoid that. So I feel the weight, I'm blocking him, I'm going to scoop, and then I'm going to barrel roll. On top, find his head, make things awkward for a second, fall back, cinch things up, go for your triangle, or just take him out, okay? So again, very specific reaction, but there is an opportunity to sweep here, okay? Omoplata, I feel him, he's putting, he's trying to bury me here, right? Again, if, he, if I feel like I can sit up and beat him, great. So let's say he's really putting his hip onto me. I'm trying to keep him here. So instead of doing this and getting countered, I scoop, find his leg, and then I just turn. Roll him over top of me, but I have to complete it. You barrel roll. Then from this position, I could just be on top, but this arm is stuck already. So if I pull up, I can go mount a triangle, okay? Pull the head up, find it. I could try and cinch it, but it's easier to roll back, especially with the owie knee. And then do everything we did earlier. Okay, you need a little more space. You guys, you can see we rolled a bit. You are. Okay, partner on top, give the energy. It does not make sense if I stay still. Okay, one, two. Nothing like a mounted triangle. Okay, so we got one more here. We're gonna do this 100% based off of him being standing. So it doesn't make sense off the bottom. Uh, just because he's wearing a white key and I'm wearing a black key, it's gonna be very obvious. All right, so I get my lasso. Now the other way, notice for the omoplata, I'm kicking through and rotating this way. I could also rotate the opposite direction. That means I need to invert. So when I'm in this position, very similar to the technique for the sweep here, except that I wanna make sure that I claim and maintain this space. He can drop down in this position, but he'll I'll always have enough room to you know, control his weight, but I won't have enough room for my body. So instead of going all the way to the far side, I step into his gut and I create space. Now, instead of trying to scoop this leg for the sweep, I'm looking for the far leg. Now I elevate, I pick my hip up, and I rotate through all the way into the omoplata again. Okay, so again, lasso, foot into the gut, kick him off of you, stretch him out a bit. Find the far pant leg, so I reach into my pocket and I turn my thumb towards the mat because this way I can pull myself all the way through the motion here. I'll jam up and I won't be able to spin anymore. Pick your hip up, and then from this position here, I'm still controlling him. Keep your toes right in his gut. And then from this spot here, I just make sure I catch him all the way through. As I find the gap, I sit through. You have a lot of momentum. You should be able to sit right to here. Attack, break him down as needed. One more time. I know it looks fancy. It is, it's fun. Boom, foot in the gut, find it. Rotate, find your position, okay? So that's one option. Normally, you go into like a tornado sweep. 
or a variation on it. Boom, foot in the gut. Find your position here. When I get to this spot here, I can use this leg in a couple different ways. One, I stay under him and I almost use my own head and shoulders, not the brand, okay, to catch and trip him. So if I just go straight through, he's gonna end up front rolling, unless he wants to do a face plant. Get another concussion, Jake, protect yourself. Okay, so we finish the sweep. Or, it's the exact same sweep, but with the full commitment of the leg, it's a beautiful hamstring stretch too. So as I rotate through, same thing, but now I stick it right across his butt. And now he has no real choice to, except to follow my push. I'm using my leg over my head in this axe position to throw it. Okay, so you can try either of those. One more time. Lasso, kick, rotate through. So either I completely finish my position and I make sure I claim this outside spot, the omoplata, or my foot's in the gut here. And I can kick him over with it, or I can trap against my own foot here. It could be a triangle, but this will close the gap a bit. I want some space. I really want to push his upper body over. In my triangle, he kind of falls on me a bit more. Or lastly, the one I prefer is to stick the foot right through the, the crotch. Boom, through, shoot. My hips come up, and then I just pull him with my heel. Okay? I'm stop. One, two. Let's go. Last one for today, hey guys. I know it's an hour of technique, but. Stop. Turn it off. We're going to run into battery. I need that.